Hi, welcome back to AP Chemistry with Mrs. Mays. Today we're focusing on photoelectron spectroscopy. The photoelectron spectroscopy, or PES, utilizes X-rays, and the X-ray is a very high energy wave. That means those waves have very high frequencies, typically in the range of 10 to the 16 to 10 to the 19 hertz. These energy waves are so intense that they can completely separate electrons from their atoms. We're talking ionization, baby. Take those electrons away completely. And the scientists identify specific elements based on comparing the kinetic energy of the electrons removed to the energy of the X-ray photon that bombards them. So when you look at a PES graph, you're going to look for a couple of things. First of all, the number of peaks in the PES spectrum basically represents the number of electron orbitals existing in an element. The smallest peaks represent the s orbitals, and s orbitals hold two electrons. The full p orbital holding six electrons will then be three times the height of a full s orbital because they can hold six electrons and a full d orbital holding 10 electrons would be five times the height of a full s. The highest energy peaks represent electrons in orbitals that are the closest to the nucleus because of course they are bound to the nucleus with the greatest amount of coulombic force. So here's an example. We're asked to identify the orbitals and the element represented by the PES spectrum below. So first, I'm going to look along my axis for the highest energy on my x-axis. Notice there's breaks in the graph to show places where uh, we had to change the scale on the x-axis to fit all of the peaks together on one page. Uh, I notice that 400 is my highest number, so my highest energy peak must be this one. We'll call that 1s2 because the first energy level represents electrons that are closest to the nucleus, right? The 1s orbital is a smaller diameter than the 2s, which comes next. 2s holds two electrons. And if this line is two, then we have here four, then six, then eight, and then 10. So our next peak is at the six. That makes sense because the 2p can hold six electrons. So then we keep going, uh, 3s2, and then 3p6, and then I expected 4s2 to come along, and it didn't. Remember what happens? The d electrons fill in at a lower energy than the 4s. So the 3d10 is this peak that goes all the way up to 10. The 4s comes in at a different energy, so even though 4s fills in before 3d, the 3d goes at a lower energy, or higher energy, closer to the nucleus. Yes, let's leave it at that. And then 4p is half the height of my 4s, so it must have only one electron there. So if the 4p has one electron, then this element is identified as gallium, because it's in the 4p1 spot on the periodic table. So reading a PES uh, spectrum is really not that challenging. Look for your highest energy and start there. Identify your orbitals and then answer the questions that are asked.